What up dudes and dudettes? ZR car back again with another video. So I did kind of a walk around of the King Quad a couple weeks ago and I talked about putting uh, the King Quad in the back of the Silverado. And um, I was talked a little bit about how important it was for me to be able to shut the tailgate because if I want to pull the camper, um, I want the tailgate to shut for it to work right. Look at me. Help the helicopter. Saving some lives. Sounds good up there. All right, anyways, squirrel. So, um, and then to add insult to injury, add his bumper. Um, so, it will not fit forward now with the tailgate closed. It will, however, fit backwards. But with that bumper, um, it just rubs too bad with that front grill guard. You can see this spot, this spot, and uh, my hope was that it would snug it up going forward. Well, it won't even fit, the tailgate will not shut forward. So if anybody has a king quad, you're thinking about adding this front bumper and you still want it to fit with the tailgate closed, uh, it's pretty much not gonna happen unless you have a long box. So this of course is the standard box. I think it's like what, six, nine, something, six, eight. Um, anyways, um, this uh, bumper goes on pretty easy. Actually, right at these winch mounts here, um, it, I actually used my existing winch mount holes, or hardware, I should say, and uh, super easy to put on. If you know what you're doing, 10 minutes, it's off. So, I still like it. I'm still going to keep it, the girl guard. Um, but, I think if I ever go on a long camping trip and I really have to bring the four-wheeler and I really have to shut the tailgate, I'll just yank that bumper off. I really cannot justify having it rub like this and just, you know, turn it, turn up my tailgate. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a truck, but like, it's only got 6,000 miles on it. And then this has got 100 miles or whatever. And you can see where it rubs just a little bit. I mean, it's nothing crazy, but definitely do not like it do not however love the king quad i think they match awesome together with the sport 3500 hd and uh i've been putting quite a bit of miles on this thing something's clacking on the bottom i think it's actually the shock mount um i've seen that before where that shock mount bolt it's just a tiny bit loose. I've actually seen that on this guy. And uh, tighten it up on this guy and it's quiet now. But it could just be the 150 leaf springs in here. Mm -hmm. Possible. So, in conclusion, if you want to put a king quad into the standard bed, for the 3500, this bumper is gonna be too much. It's gonna be too much for it, unless your tailgate's already trashed and then you don't care about the bumper, blah, blah, blah. Just did a quick video on this Rhino recovery hitch. Put the isolators in there, so hopefully it won't rattle too much. This recovery hitch doesn't come with a pen. I've seen a lot of people complain about that. I've got a handful of them, so. Not a big deal for me. Looks pretty good. I think about either getting another King Quad or if I could find a sweet deal on a Grizzly 700, I'd probably do it. But it would have to be sub 10,000. Like, I'm talking like 
9600. What I really want is that last year's model gray and uh, fluorescent yellow um, Grizzly. Um, they don't make it this year, but man, if I could get that for like 9600, oh, that'd be a good deal. Anyways, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Peace.